looked at extended Euclid's algorithm, and one of the things that it's useful for is being able to give us the modular multiplicative inverse. So in mathematics, if I have a number like 17, and I say what number times uh, 17 will give me 1? Uh, well, in this case we can see 17 times 1 over 17 uh, equals 1. Um, so it's just the uh, equation flipped around here. Uh, with modular arithmetic, we don't have uh, as simple a way to do that. We can't just um, divide necessarily uh, in modular arithmetic. Uh, but we do have um, some tools that can help us. Um, so um, let me get a few terminologies down. The other way to write uh, 1 over 17, just so it's helpful, is 17 to the negative 1. Uh, just remind, remembering uh, some of our powers um, previously. Uh, so if I'm solving for uh, the modular multiplicative inverse, uh, it's governed by this uh, equation here. It's ax uh, to 1 over mod of n. And you can look at this at the Wikipedia or in your text or other uh, sources. Um, so let me give you um, one uh, helpful tip. Uh, it's to first understand that we only have a multiplicative inverse if our numbers are uh, co-prime. Uh, that is to say, uh, the numbers that we're looking for, uh, their GCD must be 1. Okay, so let's just take a look at an example. Um, or as well as I can write this equation, uh, Similarly, x equal to uh, 1 over a mod m, x equals a to the minus 1 mod m. Okay, so this is the uh, x is what we're solving for here that gives us our multiplicative inverse. This shows us the uh, a of minus 1 uh, mod m. Okay, so let's pick two numbers here. I'm going to pick uh, 5 and 17, so the GCD of numbers 5 and 17. And what those numbers are in the equation, GCD, uh, A and M. Uh, so A from here is this uh, A, and M, our modulo, uh, is over here. Okay, uh, and remember this needs to equal 1. Uh, so first we'll find the GCD uh, using Euclid's algorithm. And if we find it's not 1, uh, then we can stop and say there's no multiplicative inverse. Uh, so let's go ahead and perform that step. We're getting good at Euclid's now. So 17 is equal to 5 times 3. That's 15 uh, plus 2. <clears throat> and then we'll move on to the next step. Shift over the 5, which is equal to, uh, if I'm shifting over my 2, 2 times 2 plus 1. And we can actually stop here. Uh, this remainder here uh, is our GCD of 1. Okay, so great. We confirm that, yes, there is a multiplicative inverse. Now let's use uh, extended Euclid's algorithm uh, to find out what that multiplicative inverse is. And remember what we're solving for. We're going to solve for some uh, equation in the form of 1 equal to uh, 5 times some number plus 17 times some number. Okay, so this is 17. So let me walk through the steps here. Uh, starting with 1, we're going to transform this equation. 1 is equal to 5 uh, plus 2 times negative 2. Okay, so that's, we can verify this works. 5 plus 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and that indeed equals 1. And then we're going to take care of this um, 2, looking back at our equation. And this is equal to uh, 5 plus I'm going to move out this uh, negative 2 uh, and solve for 2 on this uh, equation right here, which is equal to uh, 17 plus 5 times negative 3. Okay, so let me distribute these out. 5 plus uh, 17 times negative 2 plus, uh, well, 5 times with negative 3 times negative 2 will give me 5 uh, times 6, okay, and there's another 5 here which I can group with this, uh, these 6 5's over here, 
So let me go ahead and do that. 17, negative 2, plus 5 uh, to the 7. Okay, so let's, uh, this was many steps, so let's verify that this still equals 1 uh, here. So this is negative 34 plus 35, uh, yep, still 1. Okay, so the math's right, and if I look here for what we're trying to find, uh, we're done. We have 17 and 5, so I can plug in 7 and negative 2. Great, so remembering what we're solving for, uh, our x equal to uh, a, which is 5 minus 1, mod 17, and we have our x here, which is 7. Uh, so uh, that's the multiplicative inverse of uh, this equation here. Now you might be asking, what about this 17? Um, we can actually just cross this off. Uh, anything with 17 is going to uh, divide evenly into uh, 17 here, so we can essentially ignore that and uh, this is uh, the part of the equation that we care about, this 7 here. And that's the multiplicative uh, modular, modular multiplicative inverse.